everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have some really exciting stuff I want to show you. So Zoho has been putting a lot of time and effort into their workflows, how they work and things of that nature. And that's what I want to cover in this video today. There have been some gaps in their workflow editor and how they send emails and things like that for years. And they've addressed some of them. And I think it's going to be really important for the average user. So number one, we're going to go through how workflows have changed. Their look and feel has changed. There's some things when you first log in and you look at a workflow, it brings you to a completely different page than what you're used to. Two, how to actually interact with that page. So it shows you success and failures and things of that nature. And then three, and one of the cooler ones, at least for everyday use, is now the ability to CC people on email automation. So one of the sometimes good, sometimes bad situations in Zoho is until now, whenever you would send out an email automation, and let's say you send it to two people, they would both receive completely separate emails. Now what can be done is they can be CC'd. And so what that allows for is a bit better communication depending on the use case. And so that's a really cool feature that we're really excited about. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. We read all the comments, we answer all of them, and we love new subscribers. Enjoy. All right, so let's get into this. What you see here is what you're going to see from now on when you first log into a workflow. It might be a bit confusing. You might be like, whoa, where am I? Because workflows didn't used to look like this. What they used to look like is this. So when you hit view configurations, this is what you used to see. Now, when you first log into a workflow now, automatically it's gonna show you the conditions and how many times things have been triggered. It's a really neat feature. It just might be a little confusing for you the first time you see it. There's some other really neat features that come out of this. Namely, you can see a few things here. How many times this workflow is triggered? This is super handy if you're doing kind of an audit check to see, okay, is this triggering? Is it working? A lot of people ask, okay, how do I test the workflow? How do I audit the workflow? So this feature is now here. You can also categorize it by time, right? So you could say, okay, last 30 days, last 60 days, last 90, or you can do a custom range, right? And when you're done with this, you can go ahead and hit view configurations and edit the workflow. So this is a really neat tool. Don't be worried about it. You simply just have to hit view configuration in the top right to get rid of it. Now, the second piece, I'm going to pause my video for a second and show you an example of the second piece. So when you're actually looking at these view configurations, if you have code running or any extensions or anything that's a bit more advanced and it potentially fails, Soho now actually shows a failure log. And so you can see there were no failures here, but I'll show you something neat you can do with the failure log. So this is an example of the failure log. And I'm not showing you the whole screen because this is like live failures of this one function we know doesn't work. And so a couple of the cool things you can do, you can actually hover over any of these and retry them. So let's say you are getting consecutive failures on a function or on something. You can actually hover over this and on the left hand side, you can actually hit retry. Now, obviously I'd recommend changing the code first or changing the function before retrying because it's probably gonna fail again. But this has been a long awaited feature because typically what would happen is if something fails, you're out of luck, you're not gonna be notified really. And more specifically, you can't retry it. So this is a really handy feature and all you have to do to get to it is simply hit where I showed you in the last little part of the video, you click on failures and then it'll bring up this page. So this is a really neat feature. We're seeing more and more clients try it out and ping us about it. So it's something that's being rolled out slowly to all Zoho clients. So you should see it in your system soon. Okay, the third and really impressive feature that's being rolled out to accounts right now is the ability to CC and BCC other people when an automated email goes out. So until now, when you sent out an automated email, it would send one email to person one, one email to person two, they had no connection. So for example, in our business, when we launch a project, we send out an automated email to the client saying, hey, here's your project manager. Um, and oftentimes it's a bit cumbersome because it actually comes from me introducing the project manager, but I can't really CC the project manager. So you'd have to start a new thread with that project manager. So here, what you can do is same as normal. You click action, notify via email. You're then going to create a new email automation. I'm going to say client notification. And here's the key feature. So the two doesn't change. So you could say, well, this is going to go to the email, this button now launches another feature, right? And so now you can CC people. So you could say, well, I wanna CC this person and I wanna CC the client owner, also the client email, 
right? And you could even go further and BCC. So now when the email goes out, it'll have everyone on that record and then they, someone can just reply and it has everyone CC. So that's a really handy feature, super excited about it. Kudos to Zoho for rolling this out. It's been long requested and I'd encourage everyone to try it. Now it might not be in your account yet. They're releasing this in phases. Feel free to reach out to us. We can put a word in with Zoho to get it released in your account. And yeah, that's the end of this video. So the summary here is Zoho's workflow has gotten a lot more advanced. You can now track successes and failures, retry things, and even CC people on emails. Hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.